For the last 20 years or so, the internet has rolled out, this is how Skynet slash The Matrix starts. Every time there's an advancement in robotics that makes the news, you can pretty much set your watch by it. And while it's a bit of a tired old trope, people seem to enjoy it. Realistically, however, oh, we don't need to wait for the robots to rise up. Thanks to soft robotics, robots are already far weirder than anything Arnold Schwarzenegger or Keanu Reeves ever had to deal with. Soft robotics is a sort of subgenre of robotics, where the machines are not made of stiff metals and plastic, but rather soft, pliable materials that mimic flesh and muscle, although not always in the human sense. Some of what has been created under that banner is exceptionally weird. Number 10. Robo Spider Corpses In July 2022, the world got to experience the place where robots and zombieism intersect when scientists turn dead spiders into robots. Strictly speaking, a soft robot can be designed to mimic biological functionality through the use of things like hydraulics and bladders. Pressurized tubes and hoses can act as limbs and actuators to make something move. As it happens, spiders kind of work the same way. Spiders can move their limbs thanks to an internal hydraulic system. They don't have nearly as many muscles as humans, but their blood pressure allows their limbs to move and contract. When the spider dies, it's heart stops and the bodies curl up as they lose their pressure. This new experiment repressurizes the dead body. Scientists filled the corpse with air and allowed the legs to spread and open again. As the air pressure is decreased, the legs begin to close. The end result looks like one of those carnival claw machines that you use while trying to win a stuffed toy. Only this one is a corpse and it's capable of lifting 130% of its own body weight. So what's the purpose? Technically, it's cheaper than building a robot capable of the same task. And scientists feel like this branch of the darkly named necrobotics could have practical uses, including building and sorting, and even sample harvesting in the field since spiders are already well camouflaged even if they're dead. Number 9. MIT built a squishy gel hand that can catch a fish. Robot hands are some of the oldest and most recognizable robots in the world. Not necessarily the titanium skeleton claw of the Terminator, but just robotic hands used for grasping in factory settings, often with just two or three fingers. Most of us have seen these, and they are in use all over the world. Historically, these robot hands have proven rather dangerous. Their grip strength is considerable no matter what they have been designed for. One robot designed to play chess broke the finger of a seven-year-old opponent. Soft Robotics have developed a robot with a much gentler touch. In much the same vein as the grippy necro spider bot, MIT scientists used hydrogel robots that are so gentle they can safely grab a fish while it's swimming without causing harm, it's like being hugged by a flabby armed squid. The hydrogel hands, which as the name implies is mostly water, is formed of pliant materials that are 3D printed to the needed size and shape. Water pumped into the fingers allows them to expand and stretch out, and then it can be opened and closed. Because it's soft and water-filled, it's well suited to delicate tasks, and the catching of the fish was sort of a proof of concept demonstration to show the robot is capable of delicate function. Number 8. Soft handed fruit picking robots. Now, if you're wondering what good a robot that can hold a fish can do, well, wonder no more. The realm of soft robots does have practical implications, and one of the developments that came from that idea of a very gentle robot is fruit picking. Traditionally, fruit picking has been a human controlled process. While machines are highly useful at harvesting many crops, some need a human touch because machines of the past were far too rough. Fruits like raspberries were too delicate for a machine to pick. But that's no longer the case. The Cardo was demonstrating their robot hands back in 2017 that were gentle enough to pick up easily bruised items like raspberries or tomatoes. These would be used in the online grocer's warehouse to pick customers' orders. Air pressure governs the grip of the robot hand, and combined with AI, the robots could observe, produce, and determine ripeness, and more as they pick orders. Out in the field, a robot raspberry picker uses forearm sensors and a gentle touch with soft plastic grippers to harvest about one kilogram of fruit an hour. That's not a lot, but they're hoping to have quadrupled it soon enough. Number 7. Starfish-inspired soft robot can slither under doors Starfish are interesting creatures, but there's something intrinsically weird about them from a human perspective as well. The same can be said for many sea creatures. They all evolved in a world much different from our surface world, and so they seemed a little alien to us, especially when we watched them move around. So it's no surprise that a soft robot inspired by starfish is going to come across as extra weird, if not outright creepy. Harvard designed a soft robot made of elastomers that moves thanks to air inflating its muscles. It can move using several several gates from walking to slithering, and it's also able to deflate itself and squeeze under doors or through cracks. Though the model Harvard demonstrated has to be hooked up to a hose system to control the flow of air, the potential for future advances that would see an autonomous soft robot able to fit into places a normal rigid robot could never reach seems clear. Number 6. A magnetic tentacle robot can be guided through your lungs Let's say you're in hospital because something's wrong with your lungs.
your lungs. Doctors need to get a better understanding of what's happening, so, well, what do they do? You probably expect a chest x-ray or something like that. But what if they decided to send a robot tentacle into your lungs to look around and see how things are doing? Researchers at the University of Leeds in the UK have developed one for just that purpose. The magnetic tentacle robot, which seems to actually be the official name right now, is a soft-bodied robot made of interconnected cylinders. It can be magnetically guided through the lungs to take tissue samples or deliver therapy and medication. If that sounds creepy, don't worry. That's literally how the lead researcher described it. It's creepy, he said, while also acknowledging the plan was to find the least invasive way to explore the deepest and hardest to reach places of the human body. And since the end goal is actually saving lives, maybe a little creep factor is a reasonable price to pay. Number five, robot cockroaches survive being crushed. You'd be hard pressed to find many people in the world who like cockroaches. They infest places and overwhelm them with their feces and corpses. They eat through wires, they can survive radiation exposure, and they are notoriously hard to kill. So a robot cockroach is just another layer of creepiness. Fortunately for us, the robot cockroach at least doesn't resemble a cockroach, not physically anyway. But it does retain the ability to survive even after someone tries to crush it. It can handle up to one million times its own weight coming down on it, and it will still scuttle away after the fact. It's also able to move very fast, covering 20 body lengths in just a second, another off-putting cockroach trait. The little critter is mostly formed of a piezoelectric panel. A current applied to it causes it to expand and contract, creating movement thanks to a layer of elastic polymer that causes it to bend and straighten again, and a pair of tiny legs underneath. Future plans would add a gas sensor so it can creep into tiny places and detect dangerous fumes. Number four, Stanford researchers made a soft robot snake that can grow. Soft robots have a lot of potential value when it comes to life-saving. Take, for instance, search and rescue. A building collapses after an earthquake or explosion. Something like Stanford's soft robot snake could immediately be sent in, winding through the cracks and crevices to find trapped survivors, complete with a camera and even water for the victim. Rescuers would know immediately where to search, increasing the chances of saving lives. You need to keep that upside in mind when you see just how creepy the robot snake is in real life, capable of literally growing and climbing over and through obstacles like the creeping tendril of a fast-moving vine. It grows out like a sock being unrolled, and new material can keep being added. The base or start never seems to move as the rest of the robot continues to grow out. Number three, a magnetic slime robot that could retrieve swallowed objects. Magnetic putty was a popular pseudo toy a few years back because it looked like slime that could move on its own. Turns out that inspired an idea for a new kind of soft robot that could potentially be used to tore a human gastrointestinal system and clean blockages. If a patient swallowed something dangerous like bits of metal or even watch batteries, the magnetic slime robot could make its way to the offending material and grab hold. Because it's magnetic, it can be manipulated into a variety of shapes and even guided through very narrow spaces. And because of where it can be used and how it looks, the name magnetic turd always thrown out to describe it. Number two, xenobots are robots made from living frog cells. We already saw what happens when you make robots out of something dead. So how about something alive? Xenobots are robots that are made from living cells, and in this case, the cells of frogs. Scientists have used frog stem cells to create tiny living robots capable of simple tasks. Skin cells and heart cells, which have no business working together, can push microscopic objects around. They even put themselves back together if they're damaged. There's a hope that one day xenobots can be used in the medical field and even out in the world to clean up contaminants in the environment. A future xenobot could take drugs right to the organs in your body that need them. They qualify as neither machine nor life form, or maybe they fall under the realm of both. Number one, there's a robot finger covered in living skin. In science fiction, you can't shake a tree without a robot designed to mimic a human falling out. From data on Star Trek to the Terminator to the Cylons of Battlestar Galactica, we really love the idea of making things in our own image. Also, it makes for cheaper special effects if you can cast a human and say it's a robot. It was inevitable that real life would also walk down the humanoid robot path. And so far, uh, what we've come up with is off-putting at best. While there are a handful of rigid robots designed in the shape of a human, only soft robotics could get to the point where the words slightly sweaty come into play to describe how it looks. Japanese researchers have made a soft robot finger and covered it in skin, real living tissue. Because the tissue is alive, the robot can heal itself from damage. The belief behind the design is that if a robot is more lifelike, people will interact with it more easily. This could be crucial in healthcare settings or other situations in which someone needs to rely on a robot. The skin has to be kept moist so it doesn't dry out since the finger isn't attached to anything and there's no circulatory system. They also acknowledge that it moves in a very mechanical way. No one has broached the topic of how it would look on a robot face or what would happen if a skin-covered robot got some kind of infection and its face rotted off. In the future, the plans are to build on the foundation by giving it a fingernail, sweat glands, and hair follicles. Then maybe someday it'll graduate to a full hand.